Hello, I'm Safira Lou and welcome to my channel. Hello guys and welcome to this month's challenge video. This month, as re highly requested by you guys, I am painting with hot chocolate. I picked up these, these were four for a pound from my local uh, shop and I've got a mint hot chocolate, a white hot chocolate, a Bourneville hot chocolate and a, a standard like Belgium hot chocolate. This was to see if I could create different shades with the different um, colours. So different like colours and different shades with the uh, hot chocolate to see if it would create anything different. So the first thing I did was I had my hot water and I got four different mugs and poured my hot chocolate in each mug. I also taped the sachet to each of the mugs so then I knew what was in what and uh, poured hot water, waited for it to cool down uh, while I was mixing it so then I could use it with my paintbrushes on it. Uh, ideally you don't want to use hot liquid with paintbrushes just because it can cause the glue that's holding them together to unstick and you really don't want to do that but they just smelled so good so how did i find this challenge well in comparison to the tea challenge this is a lot more difficult to work with it's very similar to coffee in the fact that um with the material it can be quite difficult to get shades I found that it was a lot easier to work with than the coffee, however, um, because it's quite a sweet substance, it wasn't necessarily sticky, but sometimes I wasn't getting the consistency that I wanted. It was kind of like I was using chalky watercolours, um, like the really, really cheap watercolours, where I wasn't quite getting the vibrancy that I needed. I found that sometimes I had to really saturate the colours down and oversaturate my watercolour paper. In case you're wondering what watercolour paper I'm using, I'm using De La Watt Brownie Aquafine and this is the uh, cold press, not the hot press, because I knew I was going to be working with a lot of water and that the cold press would probably be best for what I needed. So other than finding so it's sometimes a little bit difficult to work with it just smelled absolutely amazing and if you do want a fun challenge to do over the christmas period considering it's lovely and cold here in england at the moment it's absolutely perfect to do although the temptation to actually drink the hot chocolate was absolutely ridiculous so i got myself a nice hot cup of tea uh, at the moment it's been so cold here so like it's all i can think about when i think about christmas when i think about winter i just think about lovely hot chocolate um, or hot drinks and trying to keep warm and that's what the holidays really reminds me of I love doing um Christmassy I love doing like themed challenges and like this Christmas um I was kind of thinking about all the challenges I could do and I did the uh Christmas color challenge last year um which a video a link for that will top uh, pop up in the top right hand corner um I did that last year and I had so much fun with it but I couldn't do it again this year so I thought well considering a lot of the uh, challenges that I've done this year have been like painting with unconventional materials it definitely was fun to do I think if I was to go back again I think I would possibly like refine my sketch and go with a proper idea of what I was doing I didn't really have a firm idea of what I wanted other than I wanted like a very similar um, goat girl to the other goat girl I had with my tea challenge and with the other challenges I've done as well um, in a jumper and that's all I really knew I wanted um, other than that it wasn't really set in stone what I fancied doing it was like I said it was fun to do I think there's definitely experience to do this definitely and if you do want to try it let me I want to see what you produce if you do this challenge yourself I don't know if anyone else has done a hot chocolate challenge I know that coffee and tea challenge has definitely been done by a few youtubers before and I have done that as well as the pumpkin spice uh, latte challenge uh, if you do want to check those out I think there'll be various links that will post up throughout the video and you can check the videos out there as for challenges, I'm always up for unconventional challenges and if you guys have any suggestions on what you want to see me do in the future, let me know. I always do a challenge video every single month because I think it's 
nice to try and push yourself out of your comfort zone and do something that you wouldn't normally do so if you guys do have challenges that you wish to see from me let me know in the comments down below i have got a scribble challenge half filmed um so i was thinking of finishing that and uploading that at some point um but let me know what you guys want to see i'd be interested in seeing what you would be wanting me to do next really um I think with the unconventional challenges it's one of those um, I don't think these pieces of artwork are gonna last unfortunately um, if you are wondering there will be prints available but these prints will not go up in the store until January my store is actually closed for now uh, for the Christmas period um, so I will not be doing any taking on any more orders uh, from now um, until when the store relaunches up in January so I will leave I'll do a video when I do the store relaunch um, just so that people know because I know people have been asking for new stuff to be put in there but unfortunately I've just not really had the time to be able to dedicate to put up new stuff on the store um, as much as I wanted or keep up to date fully with everything so I'm trying my best and I will uh, I'm really excited for the new year um, to start on new projects and I've got so many new fun ideas so this will be available as a print but right now it won't be up in the store until January just so I've got time to uh, get everything up in the store and get that sorted but I think the thing I like about these unconventional challenges is that not only are you stepping yourself out of your comfort zone, you are always trying something different, always trying something new. So here is a final few looks of the overall piece. I'm quite happy with it. There's things that I would fix, especially the hand on the left. Oh my god, what have I done there? I think it's not the most difficult material to work with, but it definitely was a challenge to try and get the colour and the saturation that I wanted with everything. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Maybe like, comment and subscribe if you wish to see more content. But as always folks, stay creative.